Welcome back to Try It Today. And as we uh, get closer and closer to the holiday season, I think it's very appropriate that we bring in someone who comes to us every holiday season to remind us how to be smart and how to be green and do things that are going to help ourselves, save money, and help the environment and all that good stuff. Jay Paul, director, we meet the lovely Lorelai Elkins. She's regional program coordinator for Try It Air Awareness. Welcome back to the program. Thank you. Our theme here, of course, is going to be being smart, being green, doing all these great things for the holidays. What are the best ways to reduce our environmental impact over the holidays? Well, we have to take a look at what are the things we do differently around the holiday season than we do normally. And one thing is parties, another thing is travel, and another is buy gifts. Now, when it comes to parties, the best thing you could do is reduce your waste. You don't have to buy those fancy Christmas disposable styrofoam things because they're going to the landfill and they're going to stay there for right, a really long most, time. Right, because most of us will do that. We'll get the little mm -hmm. you know, pla uh, plastic or paper plates with little things on it. Right, but. right. But uh, with a little bit extra effort, you can use plates that you have at home or borrow some if you know someone that has some really nice plates. And use those, rewash them, send them back wherever they came from. And same thing, don't use disposable silverware or napkins. Use cloth napkins, things that, that are reusable. And then if you do generate some trash at the party, make sure that you recycle every bit you can. If you know somebody with chickens, scrape the plates, send them off for the I box somebody, for the chickens. I know somebody does that. Uh, what can, now look, when we're buying gifts, there's a big argument that's going on. It's an economic development argument, I get it. But a lot of people say you should shop locally. Other people say you should shop online. For those who do shop online because it's convenient, does that mean it's actually more responsible from a green standpoint to shop online because you're not driving to the mall? If you're not driving all over the place, it's going to benefit you um, financially. You're not spending the money, but you do have to pay for shipping. So you have to decide if the cost of shipping is, is going to balance the cost of driving to the mall. But let's say if it's free shipping, then what you're saying if is the only consideration is don't, don't keep driving around in circles to... Right. Okay. You're going to sit in traffic if you're waiting at the mall, so it's much better if you, if you can get the, uh, the, the low shipping. And a lot of the major stores are now kind of pointing people to the Internet, which I think is kind of strange. I guess. I don't know. But you know, they have staff there to help you, but then they're saying, hey, check our online thing. So maybe that's the way to go. Uh, what about gift wrapping? Anything you need to tell us about that? Well, gift wrapping, we've all heard of, of the um, you know, brown paper bags and whatnot for gift wrapping. We don't see brown paper bags as much, but you think about, do you really need to wrap it? Do you need the elaborate ribbon and bows and, and paper? Um, most of that uh, is gonna, again, go in the landfill if you're not recycling, hopefully you're not burning it. Right. Because all those pretty colors you see if you burn it in your fireplace That's are, toxic, are, isn't it? are toxins. Yeah, they're, they're toxins. Remember that, folks. Yeah. If you have a fireplace or even if you're going outside, all these nice foil things and colors and reds and greens on your wrapping paper are not good to breathe. Right, not good to breathe. They're very dangerous, actually. But uh, decide whether you really need some wrapping paper or do something a little odd. Or, or I once had some, some beautiful knives that were wrapped in a dish towel and with a little ribbon on it. But buy wrapping paper that has recycled content. Because it's not enough that we recycle the items. We need to purchase items that have recycled content. I know some people that save the wrapping paper and use it four or five years in a row. Of course, My grandmother's that's still using the same well, wrapping paper. Well, better than the other from. way. Uh, yeah. Before time runs out, we all like to go visiting to our families, and that means getting in the car, which means buying gas. And, and I know that you know, it's not a good thing to be dependent on foreign oil, but can you travel green? You can travel green. You can carpool. You can take your most fuel-efficient vehicle when you go to travel. Um, some uh, airlines are, are have better sustainable practices than others. You know, just Google sustainable airlines. But if you're actually driving, are you saying are you saying like if you have a cousin or an aunt nearby and you're all going to Uncle So and So's house, sure, you might say, let's. Up. Yeah, or, or if you're going to a, a local party, some of your friends, you know, say, hey, do you need a ride? I'll, I'll pick you up. But also take out the extra weight in the trunk of your car. Yeah. Because that extra 100 pounds of junk that's sitting in your trunk all the time actually causes you to use She said that fuel. last year. To, yeah, my wife was watching. She says, take out the extra weight in your car. My wife asked me to leave. So <laughs> we want to be sure we know what we're talking about. Uh, www.partnc.org is a general website where you can learn about everything from bus routes to carpooling and ride sharing and everything. And www.tryitair.org is a great website for some of the things we've been talking about as well. And we are just about out of time, but I'm thankful that you gave us these holiday tips. My pleasure. Have a good New Year. You too. All righty. We'll be right back after this.